So gusto ni Xiaomi na palitan mo ito with this. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Now, si Xiaomi 14 Ultra is parang yung predecessors niya. Pero times 10 daw yung quality na. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra is all about the camera. The marketing, the looks, the camera, everything is talagang pang camera. Ultimo yung kanilang website, 20 pages. All about the camera bago makikita yung ibang specs niya. Meron pa siyang housing na pwedeng bilhin na para mas pang camera yung kanyang itsura. Meron pa siyang handle. Ganito ba yung itsura nun? 8,000 pesos po yan. Ito po yung naka 1 inch sensor pa. The biggest sensor in a smartphone. Hindi pa rin kasing laki nito. Siyempre, ito ay full frame. But what if I told you na mas maganda na daw ito kasi dito in terms of image quality. By the way, this is the Xiaomi 14. Baka napanood din yung review ko dito. But this is just times 10 nito. Ito po yung itsura ng pictures nila side by side. And as you can see, mas may depth ang picture nitong ultra. Mas realistic, mas true to life. Medyo pang smartphone pa rin ang itsura ni 14. At syempre, malapit din yung specs niya. Just like the 14, it has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Almost 2 million points and Tutu benchmark. Naka 512 gigs of internal storage. UFS 4.0 na po yan. Latest ROM technology. LPPDDR5X. Meron ba siyang Dolby Vision, HDR10+. 3,000 nits of peak brightness. Pero ito flat. Ito naman curved. Now this better be a good camera smartphone. Kundi, baka grilled ka na naman sa akin, Xiaomi. Basta bins na watching Unbox Diaries. Uhu. But before we start, a word from our sponsor, Hilu RS5. Gusto niyo ba ng smartwatch na kamukha ni Apple Watch? Karis band ni Apple Watch? That's right, this thing is the Hilu RS5. Meron siyang 2.01 inch AMOLED display. Sobrang bright po niya. Kitang kita po under direct sunlight outside. Kaya pa nagsijogging ka, kitang kita mo siya guys. Ang ganda pa ng kulay. Isipin niyo AMOLED tapos super bezel-less na itsura niya? Wow, yung iba sa gatong presyo. Walang kulay at madilim. It's even got aerospace quality metallic bezel. Sobrang gaan niya 51 grams lang daw po siya. And it's also very thin. 10.5 millimeters lang. Halos wala na nga akong maramdaman dito eh. Comes with two bands ito. Silicon and meron pa siyang ganito. Fabric. Removable. Pwede mong palitan. Just in case maasim na. Mahaba daw yung kanyang battery life. 16 days of usage. And 20 days, standby daw. It's got IP68 water and dust resistance. O yung iba IP54 lang. Ito guys, pwede mo ilublub. Pwede mo pang swimming. Basta hindi super lalim. It's got over 100 personalized watch faces like sports, tech, cartoons. Napakarayon po niyang watch faces. Meron niya siyang AI voice assistant and Bluetooth voice calls. Answer calls quickly from your watch. Hello? I love you. Bye. And of course, it's got the usual smartwatch features like step tracking, blood oxygen saturation monitoring, sleep monitoring, heart rate monitor, at meron ka pang 25-inch monitor. Huh? Na joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> you can even pair it with your smartphone to do much more and monitor your progress sa mas malaking display at syempre habang may music sa background. Halo RS5. Links in the descriptions below. Thank you, Halo, for sponsoring this video. Ay, nakalimut ako may Leica na pala to. So... Kundi pa alam, si Laika and Xiaomi nag-partner up noong 2022, starting with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Pero sablay pa noong time na yun, pati si 13 Ultra. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> Design! Sorry, PR. Di pa ako to, ah. Na-receive namin, punit na siya. Designed by Xiaomi. My SIM adjustor pin. Ito po yung casing. And papers, ang ganda ng casing. Hard case. Ito na yung phone. Oops. Meron siyang 90 watt charger, USB Type C cable, and by the way, meron 80 watt wireless charging din. Ang pogi with the casing. Oops. What are you doing, Vince? Pinahiram pa lang namin yan. Hindi, wow. Now, in terms of yung itsura niya, kamukhang kamukha niya pa rin, yung kanya mga predecessors, it still looks like this kind of design na meron malaking camera sa gitna sa bandang taas ng phone. Pero kapag ka nilandscape mo siya, mukha siyang actual camera. Actually, ito yung sample niya with the camera grip or yung housing. Mukha talaga siyang camera, guys. Ginawa na lang camera to. They really designed this to become a classic DSLR camera. Now, this is not for everyone. This is for everyone. Kasi nga dahil sa design niya, simple, pang flagship, pang opisina, pang businessman, pang, alam mo na, pang kahit saan. Ito naman kasi, mukha talaga siyang pang photographer, no? Tinaman naman niya na, no? This looks like yung sensor ng isang mirrorless camera. Parang ganito. Wait, may dust na. Hindi po siya pang gaming dahil po pag naggaganito kayo, oh, oops, meron kayong tatamaan na malaki habang naglalaro. Pero bakit sobrang optimized niya for games? Naka-ultra sa lahat. Later makita mo. And look at this. One, two, three, four major cameras at the back. Now, the main sensor on this smartphone is a Sony LYT900 one-inch sensor. Grabe. And it even has tatlo na Sony IMX858 
na sensor for the ultrawide, telephoto, and the periscope telephoto lens, hindi na sinabi kung ilang megapixels to. Kasi alam niya na matalino ka, matalino po ang bumibili ng Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Sure ka ba dyan? It's not really about the megapixels na. It's about the sensor. Okay. Actually, meron siya ng tatlong target na people dito. The photographer, the videographer, and siguro the enthusiast na tech. And by the way, meron siya 32 megapixel selfie camera. Na walang watermark kasi hindi pa sila confident. Now, the back is vegan leather po to. Yan. Very premium yung kanyang feels. It's built like a tank. Parang it really feels like a DSLR camera. Ito, ganito yung kanyang feels pag hinawakan mo siya dito. Lalo na kapag mayroon pa siyang housing. Mas magiging tank build na po siya pag ganun. Pero yun na, nakasalalay lahat dito sa kanyang camera. Kasi nga, yung buong pagkatao niya ay camera. If this is not a good shooting camera, then bakit mo siya bibiliin, di ba? Now, same pa rin. Medyo makapal siya. Malaki talaga, sobrang fully stacked yung specs siya dito sa phone na to, so kaya ganito po siya kalaki siguro. Pero yun, pakita na sa inyo yung pictures dito po. Now this is what you're gonna get with the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Ang una naman napansin is how much features they provided in the camera app. Kung si Xiaomi 14 medyo basic lang yung kanyang camera app, ito naman grabe guys, sobrang stack Sa portrait mode, ah dito siya nagshine talaga. Ito yung mga photos ng mga portraits. Ang una ko agad napansin is kung gano'n siya ka-true to life yung dating. Parang kuha na talaga siya ng DSLR. Kasi before guys, medyo hindi ako natutuwa sa image quality ni 13 Ultra, 12S Ultra. Ah, di na lang ko pa sa probinsya, pinag-iabang ko pa. Oh, meron akong 12S Ultra, 13 Ultra. Then sinayad by side ko sa iPhone, parang oops, gagawa pa sana ako ng TikTok video nun. No? Oh, mas maganda pa si 13 Ultra, ibabash ko si iPhone. Tapos medyo madilim si Xiaomi and uh, pang mid-range yun. Pinahiya ako. Kaya ako galit last time. Ngayon nagbabalik loob na ata. Sa nakikita ko, kasi nga, Ito na. Now, the first thing I really noticed here is yung kanyang color. The color is now much more close to real life. And that background blur, yun talaga. Talaga mas realistic, less digital yung kanyang itsura. Lalo na yung image quality. Parang hindi na siya ganun ka over-processed. Ito po yung sample ni Xiaomi 14. Ito talaga sobrang processed, no? At dahil po maliit yung kanyang sensor, it needed to compensate somewhere else. No? Pinupull up niya yung contrast, mas saturated ng konti, even though nakalaika authentic po yung 14. But the 14 Ultra, because it has a much bigger sensor, it has more information, so naririte niya talaga yung details yung true-to-life na image nung subject. Meron siyang 23mm, yung kanyang 1X dito, up to 75mm. Tapos tinan mo to, ha, pag pinindot mo to, may lalabas pong 1, 2, 3, 4 na master lens system na preset. Ito may tura ng 35mm, 50mm, at 75 millimeter. Oy, grabe, di ba? Now, una ko napansin talaga is kung gaano ka less reliant siya sa sharpening. Eto guys, talagang inismoothin out niya talaga. Alam niyo naman yan, no? kapag ka-over sharpened, hindi ibig sabihin pag mas sharp, mas maganda na yung image. It's looking for that true-to-life image plus adding its own flavor to it para mas pang-professional yung look mo dito. For example, parang kuha talaga siya ng isang studio as opposed to being a smartphone camera image. We also noticed the depth ng aking mukha dito. Tinan shadow, nariretain pa niya yung shadow. Dito naman sa 14, talagang binabalance out na lahat. Nagbumukhang flat yung mukha ko, nagiging mukhang flat yung image. But with the 14 Ultra, it adds more character. It adds an extra dimension to my image right here. Siyempre, lumabas kami. Kailangan ilabas talaga to. Di pwede sa bakod lang namin yung pictures. At ayun po si KM. Sobrang ganda ng mga photos niya dito. Now, with the camera system on this thing, you're gonna be able to have more freedom because of the number of features that is available at your arsenal. Sa pro mode pa lang, ang daming settings dito. Tapos guys, meron siyang pinakabagong variable aperture dito sa pro mode. Guys, tinyo ta. Whoa! Sumisikip, sumisikip. Ah! Okay. Virgin na siya. <laughs> Medyo joke lang yun po yung variable aperture na nakikita nyo sa other smartphones like kay Huawei P60 Pro. Ito ba yung physical aperture na po? Ito ba yung tura ng aperture na pictures? Now, kayo pong bahala na mag-judge kung uh, convincing ba talaga sa inyo yung kanyang paggamit ng physical aperture over digital bokeh. Napansin ko rin meron siyang auto macro mode. Kapag nilapit mo na sobra sa isang object, may macro capabilities. This can zoom in up to 120x zoom at very stabilized po yung kanyang zoom. Pero, just like any smartphone, di ganun ka usable yung kanyang 120x digital zoom. And for me, the only solution for that is generative AI. May limitations talaga yung kanyang sensor, any smartphone sensor. And for the past 5 years, with all these smartphone brands focusing on the 100 times zoom, 120, 200 times zoom, niisa sa kanila, wala pa rin usable na maxed out zoom picture. Pangit pa rin. Okay, yeah. Kaya, ang only solution talaga is generative AI. Yung tipong wala dyan, direct na Yun yung ginagawa ng AI. Na feeling ko, super innovative. At lumalabas na sa mga upcoming na flagship na Snapdragon processors. Kay Apple din meron sila, upcoming, generative AI din, and kay Samsung. Now, when it comes to video, up to 8K, 
30 frames per second yung kaya niyang i-shoot. Pero hindi ganun pa rin kaganda ang 8K guys. So 4K 60 frames per second talaga yung pinaka-okay sa kanya. And in terms of image quality compared sa 13 Ultra, talaga nag-major improvement siya dito sa kanyang video. Dari kasi talagang super dilim, super... Hindi ako convinced na ito yung tatapat sa kay Samsung at kay, kay iPhone. Medyo na underwhelmed talaga ako last time with all of its features. Ready na talaga si Xiaomi to prove itself. Pero ito meron siyang bagong feature called the Master Cinema. And when you turn this on, it will convert your video file into something na pang professional, no? Mas flat po yung profile nito, parang log po. It is built for post-process. Pero kasi auto mode lang to, itong Master Cinema. Kung gusto mo talaga siyang gawin tunay na cinema camera, punta ka sa director mode, alito sa more. Click mo lang yan and it will give you these nice settings. Full control of the ISO, shutter speed, meron pa sonogram, histogram, even yung battery na cellphone, alito rin. Everything that you need to monitor your video. Pero kaya mo itong extra clutter sa screen, click mo yung disp, boom. O diba sa DSLR lang yan, pero dito meron. Now, sa selfie camera niya, hindi ako masyado impressed, no? Kasi compared sa simple lang, kahit simple lang na Vivo V series na phone, mas angat pa rin si Oppo, Vivo, Realme, kahit simpleng selfie camera lang compared pa dito. Mukha po siyang uh, sakto lang na selfie camera for me. And uh, it could be better, it could be better. Kaya pala siya walang watermark dito. They're not confident enough to showcase yung kanyang selfie powers. Wait, bakit umiinit yung phone? Binuksa ko lang yung camera app? That's right, mer meron siyang ganun. Medyo umiinit siya guys. But it's totally okay. Hindi ba naman siya bibilin dito kasi hindi ba siya bibenta sa Philippines. Ayun. Not unless green market ka. Actually, kung photographer ka, ang pinaka-useful dito is kanyang brightness talaga sa labas. Uh, 3,000 nits of brightness. Ang pinaka-problema na isang photographer is yung kanyang uh, display. Lalo sa labas guys, sobrang dim niya kapag uh, sobrang tirik yung araw. Kaya po nag-viewfinder. Important po yung viewfinder, di ba? Sa mga camera. Pero this one, dahil wala siya yung parang ganun physical viewfinder, display lang talaga yung kanyang viewfinder. And with this, I am happy to tell you na sobrang bright po niya, sobrang usable po niya sa labas. Now, the low light image quality on here is not the best that I've seen. Mas malupit pa rin yung kay Vivo. Vivo is the best in terms of low lights sa smartphone. But what can I say here is that you still get those pretty nice advanced features like mga master portrait, yung kanyang variable aperture in low light. And if that is important to you, sa Xiaomi 14 Ultra mo lang siya makukuha. And yes, baka sabi na iba, Parang okay naman yung Xiaomi 14. Masaya naman ako sa itsura niya. Mas, mas vibrant nga, mas makulay eh. Hindi kayo photographer kung uh, ganun yung tingin nyo sa kanya. A real photographer once made me for their hobby, for their creativity. Marami kasi maarte na photographer guys and sometimes they even want to use it for professional work. Yung tipong magbabayad yung kliyente, gusto nila talaga maayos. Eh syempre, uh, bakit magbabayad yung kliyente kung mukhang cellphone yung kuha ng picture? Ayun. Ba? Hindi kasi lahat pang Instagram. And this could be your B-cam. Pwede, pwede siya B-cam, no? Kung meron kang ganito, ubos yung battery, tinatamad kang dalhin to ilabas, gusto mong mabilisan pa. Actually, it's more likely na dadali mo to compared to this. Very rare nyo ako makikita na may dala akong ganito sa labas. At saka bawal pa sa mall. Walang kwenta. Sisitayin ka pa ng guard. Pero to pwede. Ay, okay lang yan, sir. One inch sensor lang kasi. Di nyo alam pinagkakitaan na yung mall nyo. Okay, so now in terms of the performance, wala masabi. This is truly a flagship device, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Almost 2 million points to benchmark. Siyempre, pang flagship din yung kanyang OS. Walang ads. Very smooth lahat. Hyper OS na po to. The best pang nood naman movies. At Coco Melon. Guys, meron siyang HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and uh, nagana po yung kanyang Dolby Vision sa Netflix. Ayun. Okay. So, kamusta naman sa performance? Sa gaming, ito na po. Mobile Legends, kompleto po yan. This is too overkill for Mobile Legends. Ako nagsabi sa inyo, sobra-sobra na to. Pero kasi meron mga iba dyan na mahilig talaga sa Mobile Legends, even though na marami na silang gadgets. Katulad ko ah, naka-iPhone na ako, Huawei P60 Pro, naka-Samsung S24 pa ako. Still, naglalaro pa rin ako ng Mobile Legends. And that is why this is still crucial for me. No? Pero yun, overkill po siya. Sobrang smooth po niya. No frame drops. Ultra, ultra. Right out of the box. Call of Duty, kompleto din yung kanya settings. Very immersive. Genshin Impact, super smooth din po siya. 60 FPS, pero mag-ingat kayo sa kanyang init. Yun na naman. Sana lang maging okay siya sa ibang ibang countries. Kasi hindi naman siya bibenta sa dito. Hindi nyo na problema yun. Manood lang kayo kasi nga, hindi mo ito binibenta sa atin. Now, I just think that this is the first Xiaomi Ultra device. Ever since na lumabas yung mga Xiaomi Ultra series, 12 was Ultra, 13 Ultra, hindi masyado guys. Sobrang beast yung specs. Pag narinig nyo on paper, pero pagka tunay na na picture, Hmm. Siguro ngayon nag invest na sila sa engineers. Hindi na 20K ang kanilang spasweldo. 25K na. Tana all! Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> 
Baba, kaya kaya yung camera. <laughs> Baka dahil nag-increase. Nag-increase lang dahil sa batas. So, napilitan din yung market mag-adjust. <laughs> Tagal lang magagalit na si Xiaomi sa akin dito. Pero, yun. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra is every bit as impressive as its competitors. But still not on par as the iPhone 15 Pro Max in terms of the video. In terms of the photo, on par siya with the X100 Pro. Samsung S24 Ultra. Mas lamang pa siya sa S24 Ultra actually. But right now, uh, syempre sobrang competitive talaga. Baka matalo siya agad ni P7 Pro ni Huawei. And feeling ko baka mas maganda pa na konti si X100 dito ni Vivo. But we will see in the near future. Baka magkaroon pa tayo ng uh, maraming comparisons with the flagship segment. So ayun, mag-subscribe ka lang. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Tapos sa Bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!